Good morning. We've known how to add new items to Dark Souls for quite a while, but we haven't known how to add new icons for them. Recently we figured that out, so I wrote a tool to do it, and now I'll show you how to use it. For demonstration purposes, I've added a dummy ring here, with icon ID 4050, which doesn't exist, because ring IDs usually stop at 4043. If we take a look in-game, you can see that there is no icon, as expected, so let's try to add one. Defining an icon won't do much good if there's no texture for it, so first we'll use Wolf's BND Rebuilder to modify the icon textures. Open up the Menu folder in your Dark Souls install, and look for the Menu Number TPFs. Rings are in Menu 0, so drag that onto BND Rebuilder, extract it. Now I can open up the texture, which is icon 40, and add my new icon anywhere in the unregistered space. After you're done editing it, click Rebuild, and you're all set. However, you might want to add new textures to make some more space, which is a little more involved. First, extract any of the numbered menu TPFs like we did before, then drop your new texture into it. Open up filelist.txt and add the file name to the list with the same values as the other icons, 5 and 0. So my new icon is named uh, icon41, so 5.0 icon41.dds. Save that back to Rebuilder, and rebuild the TPF. Additionally, the texture has to be registered in menu.tpf, so head back to the menu folder and extract that. Inside it, you'll find a bunch of dummy textures for every real texture in the numbered TPFs, so copy any of them and give it the same name as the texture you made before. In this case, icon 41. Again, we'll open the file list, and it's very important that you add your new texture to the very bottom, not anywhere in between. Trust me. So it's the same as before, 5.0, icon 41.tds, save, rebuild, and you're all done with that. Finally, we'll open up the tool I made, DRB icon appender. By default, it opens the remastered directory, but since I'm going to be using DS1, I'll close that. Browse to the prepare to die install, and choose my executable. All of the item icons will be automatically loaded, and you can edit which texture they use and the coordinates within that texture on the right. Now, in order to add our new ID, I'll just go to the bottom, type in 4050. Add icon, and yeah, you can see it here. From the drop down, you can pick the texture you've added or one that you've just edited, and then adjust the coordinates to be where you actually put the icon. And finally, click save and restart the game. Once you see your beautiful new icon, you're done. As far as I know, you can add as many as you want in as many textures as you want, so go crazy. In order to distribute your mod, you'll need to upload menu.drb, the numbered TPF with edited textures, and menu.tpf if you added new ones. Check the description for any links you might need, and thanks for watching.